Right, so creating a new feature module. So if you go to the Sitecore demo group website. Or um, GitHub repository. Uh, those of you who have been super diligent up in your research uh, might have noticed it already. Um, but there, so if you go to the wiki, then you'll see that there are <coughs> exercises there. Um, so the first one is we'll actually set up a new module inside a Visual Studio solution inside the group solution. Um, you can go ahead and do it now. Just ignore me talking, and then you can go have lunch. No, not have lunch, but take a break afterwards and go and drink some coffee. You could also listen in. Um, so I will. I'll go in here, and <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is I'm creating the scaffolding for the new module. Could I increase the font side? Of course I can. Yeah, sorry. It's it's super clear on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let me just get all the stuff out of the way here. Sorry. Yes, 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 uh, I just need to move the stuff around here. Um, where's that, sorry? Mm -hmm. Tools options. <coughs> Fonts and colors. Yeah. And uh, choose settings for environment. Just type in E and D. Oh, there it is. Increase that, it will increase the Solution Explorer font. <coughs> that better? Still too small? Um, Nobody's saying anything. Okay, we'll go with this one. Um, so if we um, just quickly go have a look. So what we'll do is we'll create um, the uh, go to Windows. Go to our um, go to our uh, our location where the solution is. So I'll just go to projects projects. Psycho.demo.group, source, and then here we've got just with the one layer because we've just got one project so far um, in the project layer. So now we're going to have to create the feature layer. And we can create, um, so in there we've got the feature layer and we're going to create the, the module folder like that. And then we'll go into Visual Studio. And in here, we'll create the, um, the project. Um, so we'll just start by adding another solution folder because we've got the layer as well, like that. Um, and we'll create the, another solution folder called events. So now we've got the scaffolding in Visual Studio and in, in Windows. Would sorry. you want that at the same level as project? Oh, sorry. Good catch, thanks. Yes. Ah. See, and now I dragged it there. Sorry. There you go. Um, <clears throat> now, in here, we want to create the new event for the code, so for the business logic. So the, <laughs> the problem with um, with uh, the problem with Visual Studio is that it always sort of wants us to put the projects in the in the name of the of the project, um, and as a folder with the name of the project. So what I suggest you do is just create one that's called code. And then put it in the uh, feature folder here. So now we're creating a code project. 
Um, and we're going to um, we're going to build it as a um, we're going to build it as the uh, an empty ASP.NET 4.5 template with the MVC folders in there. If you want, you can add the, the unit test as well. Um, but I'm going to skip that. So the MVC stuff. And when I'm creating that, <coughs> it creates that project. And on disk, it'll create the, the code folder there. Um, so that's just a convention that we have in Habitat and um, in Helix as well. If it's, it's not one of the most important conventions, if you want to call that folder something else, you can do that. But it's it's just again split up in the project. So you you've got the 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 um, events module will be sort of sub split into the different parts. Um, of course, what I have to do now is go and change this uh, to whatever name you want so I suggest you use your organization or the customer name in the front and then the layer of the actual module and then the name so uh, that like that and then go into your your application um, in here and change the corresponding namespace and and uh, and uh, and the assembly name. Now, also, we want to actually make it work here with um, ASP.NET um, four six. I'm just gonna save all that. So another um, another thing is here is this. Are you all sort of following along, or um, all the instructions are there for you afterwards as well? So we will take five minutes, and then you can go through it yourself. But um, the uh, we've got uh, some stuff in here that we don't really need. So let's just go and delete the apps app data folder. Um, so delete that. We will um, delete the app start stuff. We'll probably want those, and we will delete the global AX, SAX there. So now, really important part here, perhaps the most annoying thing, and just remember that: mark the web config on the project as none published. You do that by going into um, properties. For this and mark its build action <coughs> as none because if you do publish that project out to your website it will publish the web config and it'll override the cycle web config and you'll get a really w funky error and you'll have to dig up the, the standard cycle web config again you'll have to do the transformations and all those kind of things so it's, it's one of those things you do once or twice kind of like forgetting to publish in Sitecore. Um, so. <coughs> All right. Um, so under uh, so what we want to do is just set up some of the other um, stuff for for our um, for our project. We will go and add another folder here for our app config, and we'll add the um, the folder for our um, feature. So, and then we'll add the uh, config file. Um, what's that, sir? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We'll just add a um, so the I guess the easiest thing would just be to copy the one from somewhere else. That's what I always do. So just 
copy this one up, for example, and rename that to like that. And of course, we don't need all that other stuff. So you see this, for example, this this config include file for the for the um, Cycle Group website actually sets up the site for the group, so the site definition in Sitecore. It sets up the publishing and all those kind of cache clearing stuff. Um, it also adds a specific style sheet to that uh, group through one of the Habitat features is an asset management feature where you can, you can load CSS depending on sites and those kind of things. Um, so it that one config actually configures the whole site for for uh, for that um, for the website or for the group website. <coughs> Just go ahead and delete all that. So now we've got a nice and empty, ready scaffolding for um, for the events feature. Um, also important publishing options. So the uh, so if I go and do publish here, it'll actually publish. It'll make me create a new publishing target for for this project. <coughs> so I'm, we're in the build scripts are using the default MS build publish to publish the projects out. Um, but it's it's doing it uh, through this publish profile called local. Um, so this publish profile here, and that imports some settings so that the location of the website from a, a another file so let me just uh, so it it loads the publishing setting targets up here which is ses set to the url that you uh, originally created on your iis so the um so it's it's very easy for you to just copy this publish profile thing up to properties here and then you when you do a publish the local one will already be configured with the right URL so if you want to change the URL to something else you just go and change one file and then all your projects are changed in one go all right and we should um, build a solution hopefully it'll build All good, and we can publish. Right, so now we have the Visual Studio part of our module set up 